Y'all don't sell any golf clubs, do you? Go yeah. Golf. They're outside in that last. Uh, oh, because this place. Didn't expect to find all this, man. We're going to Legoland. I just hit the jackpot. I mean, we got all kind of good stuff in here. Man, what is the rarity of this? I just drove to Florida. And I found a guy using this as a as a light holder. A VR. Two wide. All right, so I got 11 of these bad boys. What do you think we can do on them? Well, when I say 10 each, it's 110. How about 70? Can we meet a 60? Huh? Can we meet a 60? 60. 60. Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Casey, the Carolina Thrifter, coming at you in my nice little beach house here. I'm outside here in Bradenton, Florida, or Annemarie Island. This is where I've stayed at for the whole week. Yeah, I'm just going to this living room kind of cleaned up. It's dark in here. I'm actually about to leave. It's been a pro cool little journey. Here's the outside view of it. It's my little casa for the weekend, or the whole week. I've been down here for 10 days. Look, we got to pull down. Check out the rest of this crib here, just to give you a little idea of what it was like to stay here. We got a little oasis back here too. I really like the vibe, especially at night. It's really cool. We got some palm trees. You know, like I said, we got the pool over here, a nice little outside sitting area. Then we came on a bicycle. I actually rented a golf cart for the week. That is definitely highly recommended if you come down to one of these beaches. We've got our own putt putt green. Yes, there's some tree leaves. They got my way. It's okay. I did have a good time putting out here. So, you know. All right, guys. Also, I want to let y'all know that I actually was on the top floor of this right here. We actually have our own pizza shop right outside of our house. It's really cool. Closed on Tuesday, that was it. Open till nine, really good place to eat some pizza. This is called the Pizza Social. See right here, last year I stayed down the street above a taco shop. This year above a pizza shop. They're both equally great. I highly recommend trying this place out. It's in Bradenton, South Carolina. Not Bradenton, that's outside of Bradenton. My phone's always ringing when I'm on this thing. It's outside of Bradenton. It's called Anna Marie Island. So I love coming here. I've been coming here once a year making an annual trip. So be cool. But guys, what I'm gonna do is take you on my little journey that I've had here. Um, I've been thrifting probably three, four times and I found some pretty good stuff and mostly just golf club related. So it's not gonna be like full of finds of like shoes or electronics. I, I had to leave all that stuff behind because of the room capacity in my car. But I have found a lot of golf clubs. Should be a lot of good information on this video. To help you if you do want to resell golf clubs and most of the time i do pick up this other stuff i'll throw so comps on the screen of some of the stuff i did leave behind and some of the prices around here were like really they're really overpriced on like shoes some electronics some of the golf clubs are overpriced too but guys check the video out if you like it please don't forget to hit the like button this helped me out a lot and subscribe if you want i do try to bring at least one video a week so guys let's get into it and let's see what i got all right guys here we are pickers paradise i was excited to come see what this is all about I don't think that's open though. But a place called Figures Paradise is calling my name. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. What's over here? Clearance table. Alright, we we'll check the clearance table out. Glass. Some shoes. Oh, there's some chokes. But those are chokes. Eight fifty. Yeah, I don't know. Some chokes in there. Well, I see the power of golf clubs. A whole bunch of golf clubs. There you go. <clears throat> hey, we got some golf clubs. How's this one? Hey. There's an Aussie putter down there. Hey, hey how y'all doing? Is this y'all's section? Yep. If I buy a few of my here, would you work a deal out? Uh, well, depending on what. I'll probably, I'll probably buy, let's see, I'd buy. Yeah, take the best ones. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that. Yeah, there's a good one. I got, I got a feed line, a 420. Yeah, they about to fall. Well, yeah, yeah, you know your stuff. You yeah, know. well, I, I do this for a living, too. Like, I go around looking for things and. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, that's that bottom. A 420 driver, a King Pro before, or Baffler. So, ladies' flex, so we got Adams out of here. 
Yes. King Cobra SS350. Just making sure the conditions are right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and almost we got the got that. All right, so I got 11 of these bad boys. What do you think we can do on them? Well, when I say 10 each, it's 110. How about 70? Can we meet a 60? Huh? Can we meet a 60? 60? 60. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50. 50. That's five dollars a piece. Look at you. I know. That's what I was trying to get at. All the way from South Carolina. Yeah, well. Meet you at 65? 65. All right, all right. All cool, right. cool, cool, cool. Check out this yard set right here, man. A big old two car garage, garage set. Now, I might not buy nothing here because I ain't got no room. Let's look up a golf club. I don't think there's any golf clubs here, but hey, how you doing? Shoes over here. Some cart. Some cart for him. Yeah. Fine. Hmm. A lot of tools. Do you have any, uh, you, it's your yard sale? Yeah. Do you have any golf clubs? Golf clubs? Golf clubs? Like club, swing club? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, golf club. <laughs> you got it, oh no, there you go. Man, that's kind of cool, man. That's, that's man. We got a Nike VR2 iron hanging up a chandelier. That is awesome. How much you want for that bad boy? Uh, give me a five. You take two? Three. Three we got. We good. You got any more? You got any more? There's only one? Only one. Uh, sorry, bust my uh, um, Man, what is the rarity of this? I just drove to Florida and I found a guy. Using this as a as a light holder, a VR two iron. That's crazy. Left handed too, man. This is so rare. I bet this golf club worth fifty bucks, or maybe I don't have probably that much. But you never know, man. These things you can't find a Nike VR Pro Combo two iron left handed. That was pretty cool. All right, guys, we on my iPhone right now because I didn't bring a backpack. I'm on vacation. This came in this place. We got two dollar golf clubs. I have to show you the front of this place. I didn't expect to find all this, man. I'm going to Legoland. I just hit the jackpot. I mean, we got kind of good stuff in here. I just want to show you. You believe this? This is crazy. Like I'm so happy right now. I'm glad I stopped. My my kids are like about mad at me because we're 20 minutes from Legoland. That's all I found. I'll go out here on my GoPro and show you what we found though. This old JC Sneed put them and leaves it, but those are cool. It's a tight lines. I might grab. It's like $2. Oh, this is awesome. Good stuff. So I'm going to do a quick recap on what I got going on here that I found so far in Florida. And I've only been here for one day. I am waiting on to go inside here to St. John's Thrift Store here to see what they have. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to go recap. So I went to the first thrift store that y'all saw me at that had my iPhone on. Hopefully my GoPro don't die. But we got 13 golf clubs out of there. We got a Cleveland form forge two putter like m most of these stuff are like decent name brands that i picked up in there it's got cleveland this is a mill face putter i've never seen it before but i did comp it out it looks like it's about like 20 30 bucks then we got this really cool mizuno tc 150 putter with a mill face i didn't find any comps on this it's got a graphite shaft but i think it's gonna sell pretty good i mean it's i'm paying two bucks a club in there i, I think i spent 26 dollars all together I'm gonna go over everything, just some highlights. We got a Cleveland Classic X golf putter here. This one's really cool, really clean mill face. This one should get at least 30, 40 bucks. This one's like a name you probably never heard of, a Daiwa. It's made in Japan. I think Daiwa's made in Japan. It, no, it's USA, I'm sorry. Made in USA, machine milled. Probably can see 20, 25 bucks. 
We got a white hot Odyssey putty. Odyssey putter sell very well. We got a white steel number one, $30, $40 putter all day. Probably one of the best ones in there. Got a couple other decent stuff. Nike Slingshot 7 iron. Got a little TP Mills 12 in here. All these TP Mills, TP Mills putters sell really well. A lot of the collectors like to get a hold of these and refinish them, so not too bad. <coughs> Next we got these some good heavy hitters right here. We got a King Cobra Baffler 5 hybrid. I'll tell you, the higher the hybrid, the more they're worth. And this one should we get at least 30, 40 bucks. And then we got a decent IDA Adams boxer. Adams is a good name to pick up for hybrid here. Should probably be about a $30 golf club. And D1 night driving iron in there. I mean, that's not too bad, like $20 golf club. So that drill store really kicked it off really well for me. And then moving on, this is from mostly the flea market pickup that I'm sorry, my GoPro died. But we got 11 golf clubs for $65. And that wasn't too bad. And we got a King Cobra SS350 driver, probably like a $25, $30 driver in this day and age. Uh, PNG5 Ladies, 26 degree hybrid, probably fetches about 30. Really decent stuff in here. I mean, we got a tailor, uh, tailor made Rosa Daytona putter in here. These things put very well. I'll put it with them. The little face right here, the AGSI little insert. Uh, this rolls the ball very well. So I'll put it with these really good. Got a Cobra baffler hybrid again then we got i tell you this is good here a, a big birth of one hybrid this is probably a 30 40 golf club you can find the one hybrids they're worth a lot more money than the, th the three the four and then when you get i don't know three and four are about the same then five and sixes then we got a tour edge one iron here i picked that up earlier that's a pretty good golf club you got a speed line pass three wood i actually swung this one time and it, i think this this goes for like 30 40 bucks but I mean, they hit very well. So another Adams hybrid in here. And then people are pulling up next to me, probably like, who is he talking to? But that's all right. We got a 420 driver. I just sold this driver for like 30 bucks. And guys, I'm throwing soul comps in the screen for some of this stuff, just to help you out with clarity. That way, you know, I do know what I'm talking about. We got an Odyssey dual force button here, the 222. I've never heard the 222. And guys, how about that one? I talked about the VR2 iron earlier in the video. That was cool, man. That was just hanging up. I'll tell you this Tor Edge thing. I did sell this one time for $40. So these are definitely on be on the lookout. Tor Edge, good name. One, you know, the one iron, one hybrids, like I was just saying. So not too bad. Let's get in here. I think they done opened up. So hopefully we got no competition. Just beat me. And then I gotta get back to Legoland and load up my car. Y'all see, I gotta load up a whole family's worth of luggage in here. And I don't know how that's gonna work out for all these golf clubs sitting in the back, but I'll make it happen. Right, how you doing? Oh man, we got here. We got some Skechers golf here. 10 bucks. Those are nice. So we have nine. Y'all don't sell any golf clubs, do you? Go yeah. Golf. They're outside in that last. Okay. Uh, golf clothes were. There it being. There you go. Got some golf clothes. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey. Hey, you found that one. I'm going to buy that one. Um, old school ping is 720 degrees. Let's see if I can get that down. That's really cool right there. What is that? Apollo? Yes, sir. We're buying that one. Hey, how y'all doing today? Hey, it's early. I know. That's me at 12. <laughs> That's you at 12. If I buy a few of these, does the price come down or is it? Yeah, well, they're pretty low now. I know. You, you uh, get a bunch and I'll see what oh, I can okay. do. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so in this Goodwill, the hip got cleaned in straight water. Have you ever seen the rain blaring like it's 1971? So I'm going to do a voiceover. But as you can see, I've already picked up. It's like a brand new chipper. It's called the Money Club. Now, notice in this Goodwill, this is the outside of where I'm staying. It's in Bradenton. And these price, they, they got all the golf clubs priced. So a lot of these golf clubs are, some of these are decent, but they're too overpriced. They don't have the Money Club price. The ones I got in my hand are priced at like $5.99, $6.99. I put it back. That was the greatest big, the great big Bertha driver. It sells for like 20 bucks. I put it back. I did spot a DVD VHS combo over here. I think this is a Sylvania model. I will throw the, the sole comp in the screen for it. They want $11.99. I 
I do leave this. I didn't even test it, but even if it worked and I could get it back home, it just took up too much room in my car. So I did leave this behind. And moving on, I did look at some shoes. There was some Sperry Top Sider, like, you know, kind of high top looking boat shoes. I did leave them. I did notice right off the bat here that prices in these Goodwills in this area are very overpriced. Anywhere from $9.99 up to $25. You'll see throughout throughout the video. Move my way into the toy section. You know, sometimes I'll go to the toy, toy aisle and scan and see if I can find anything good in here. Unfortunately, there's nothing in here. It was like this little Star Wars thing that I picked up for $4.99. I didn't bother to comp it out. It's like a cheap toy. I might have been wrong. Here's the Transformer. They wanted $4.99 for it as well. But ended up leaving that. And then I did look behind the glass case. They did have a Luminex Panasonic camera. I do like finding those and selling them at $4.99. The sole comp was like $25, so I did leave it. too bad now I, mean, I just wander around trying to find things guys i'm gonna tell y'all most of my i probably said this in the intro most of these these pickups are going to be golf related because i can fit them in my car with my luggage but i mean i pass up the dvd or vhs combo that sells like 60 70 about 60 bucks the digital camera i could have made a few dollars but this actually don't even have a soul comp i got 4.99 man you cannot pass up a chipper this is called a they put it over the top i told them don't price it up it's the money club but we got the Money Club Chipper, 37 degree. You cannot pass these up. I don't care if they're in a soul comp. You see a brand new chipper wrap. These things are excellent. I'll sell this on Facebook Marketplace for probably around 30 bucks. So not a bad score in there. Just paying 499, keep it cost of goods low and trunk space low too. Because you're gonna see it's already piled up from golf clubs from the previous three thrift stores. So not too bad in there. Uh, thrift store was that was a good i mean like they were overpriced hopefully this one's good this is the sunshine thrift store it's got a good name because it's 90 degrees right now and it's 10 o'clock i love it let's check it out all right so i'm not using my backpack but i got the gopro so we got a barrel full of golf clubs in here oh my goodness there i almost thought that was what i thought it's kind of snake Cleveland 3 wood. Fake Calvin. Like a massacre chipper. These are good. Now the chipper. I'll tell you these things right here. I'm getting it. I don't pass up the chipper. These Adams woods are everywhere. If I can get it cheap, I'm going to get it. I don't know what they want. They probably want like two bucks a barrel for a club. I guarantee that's what it is. So what else we have in town? Oh, that's a cool little club right here. I'm gonna get this one. This one's good. 3100 King Cobra 3 iron. I'm getting that. That's decent. All these are like $2 a piece. They're more than that. Ben Hogan Apex in here now. That's pretty good. If you find a whole set of that, that's gonna be good. Alright, I'm gonna dig it all out here. There's Ronnie Mouse with clothes. Is that $3.95? That's not bad. 495 49.98 for a Tory. I'm gonna send this to my wife, but Tory 50 bucks. It's just well, that's kind of cool. It's kind of big, so we can might look that up. It's cool. Big shoe, galley, Kohan. How much you want for this Kohan? 30 bucks. I don't know, my wife would be proud. I actually just found this in the wild, but we're not probably gonna buy that. It's a toy birch. My first camera. Made in China, 1291. What was that made? Nice and neat seal. Got the watch. I might have to buy that. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you, that thrift store there, it was overpriced for stuff that I, I mean, I don't pick up. Like, the shoes, the shoes are overpriced. There's, like, weeds in there for $50, $60. The toy birch thing went bad. My wife actually looked it up. I think that was worth some money. But, guys, the golf clubs, they were solid. I mean, it's not no home runs in here, but let's see what we got. First thing we got is Ben Hogan. Learn these brands. Ben Hogan is a really good brand to pick up. I want a dollar fifty-one for it. I think with the blade face of it here because most of the nine irons on a Ben Hogan are worn out on this set so people are looking for the replacement because it's a forged iron 
It's probably gonna go like 20, 30 bucks, I think. Should go at least. Then we got a King Cobra 3100H, three iron. I have sold this one in the past. Usually gets about 20 bucks. Same thing, I think I like two bucks. The Master Grip Chipper, like I was saying in the first Goodwill Chippers, I always pick these up. I've sold this one on 20 times, 10, 15 bucks. I can make a ton of profit, but it will sell. And I picked this one up. I dug this one out the barrel, probably didn't see it in footage. But it's the Adams IDA A12 OS pitching wedge. I paid $1.91. Graphite shaft, women's shaft. Needs a grip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say at least 25 bucks on that. So not too bad because I was under 10 bucks in there. And I mean, you do the math, I mean, I'm well over pretty good profit there. At least 60 or more dollars. I mean, you think, I'd say 20, 40, 60, 70, 70 bucks or more. So not too bad. All right, we're going into a Goodwill. Looks like a really nice store. It's next to a corporate office, so I'm gonna bring my backpack in here. I just don't know about these. I just I feel like they're gonna be overpriced already. Price to get in here. So let's check it out. All right, let's see what we got in here. I see some promising things. Got back here. That ain't no good. Maybe want twelve bucks for that goofy club. Basically got a fish out something they don't know about. There's a whole slaws in there still, man. That's a cool look at eight ninety nine for a no name brand putter. Check that out. Got one of these. How much you want? Six ninety nine for that. See, that ain't terrible. See, they didn't know about that one. That might be worth seven bucks. Warrior. Um, I'll just put them as a set. So cool. You got a 99816 better. What do they want? $24.99. Come on, man. Are you serious? $24. Man, get out of here with that. You want? That's how much a set would cost. Taylor made some iron. Oh, check that out. I ain't never seen one. That's a Warrior driving iron. $4.99. Oh, I gotta have that. That's cool. It's a driving iron, 27 degree. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, you get that. 499 ain't bad. I'm thinking about it. 699. I know I can double my money, but it's still up there. I think I roll with that. Well guys, that is the end of the video. Coming to y'all again from my iPhone. I swear it's the story of my life that my my all GoPro is always dead. I'm, I'm trying to get this video done so anyway guys y'all see I, I mean that was a lot of golf club pickups I ended up counting out 64 golf clubs in total when i brought back home i found more stuff i went to a yard so see i hate the iphone I, i'm looking away anyway i'm look at the screen there we go but anyway i found like 64 golf clubs in total i spent like around 180 dollars and i valued everything around 1200 dollars like i said not everything was pictured or shown in the footage but I am really busy now. I've been, this is, today's Tuesday, and I'm really busy. I got like 14 items going out today. I had 40 go out when I got back from vacation. So guys, I'm gonna end it here. Appreciate it by watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It does help me out a lot. And if you'll subscribe, I'm gonna try to bring at least one video a week. And you know, when I'm not busy, cause this is my part-time thing. I do YouTube and full-time reselling. So anyway, I gotta get busy and I appreciate y'all again for watching. See ya.